Bismillahirrahmanirrahim my dear students one of our student asked me what is silage so my dear silage consists of green forage preserved by fermentation in a silo for use as succulent fodder during periods of feed scarcity you know there are two seasons of food sca feed scarcity in Pakistan especially in May June and also in winter uh, the process of making silage is called ensiling or silage making silage is the product of controlled fermentation of green fodder re retaining high moisture content the material is normally stored in pits under anaerobic conditions. Naturally produced organic acids, chiefly lactic acid, preserves the fodder. And uh, my dear friend, you must note that chaffing uh, of the material for ensiling increases the uh, compactness of the res uh, resulting product. The silo should be airtight after filling and uh, during periods of abundant green fodder availability uh, fodder that is surplus to immediate requirements can be converted to silage and stored for use later in the year. This is the concept of silage and uh, uh, you must know that hay making is difficult in many tropical regions because at the time when the forage is of acceptable quality of uh, for forage conservation to be worthwhile which is normally early in the wet season the weather is likely to be too unreliable for sun drying. Artificial drying is expensive and facilities are not widely available. So silage on the other hand can be made using fresh or preferably wilted material. And uh, silage consists of uh, forage, crop residues, of agri or agricultural and industrial byproducts preserved that are by acids and uh, these acids are either added or produced by natural fermentation fresh forage is harvested or crop residues and byproducts are collected the material may be chopped uh, or uh, conditioned and additives may be included like 2% urea solution is uh, sprinkled on this uh, uh, chopped uh, fodder or forage uh, and to increase its uh, you know uh, uh, protein uh, uh, protein quantity so it is uh, then stored in the absence of air so that uh, facultative anaerobic bacteria naturally present present on the forage are added as uh, inoculant can rapidly convert soluble carbohydrates into acids. The quality of the ensiled product depends on the feeding value of the material ensiled and on the fermentation products present as well as on the types of acids and the amount of ammonia the resulting pH of a well ensiled, ensiled product becomes so low that all life processes come to a halt and the material will be preserved uh, so long as it remains in airtight storage so mm, the pH uh, 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 is about 4 pH 4 and, and, and if it can be stored for uh, preserved for one year there are four main roles and then those are played by 
this ancillaging uh, and silaging uh, and silage and these four roles are to build up feed reserves for utilization during periods of feed deficiency that is uh, I have already told you that dry season or winter as a routine feed supplement to increase productivity of animals this is a second role first is to build up feed reserve for uh, I mean for uh, the periods uh, of deficiency uh, that is dry season or winter and the second role is as a routine feed supplement to increase productivity of animals and the third role it plays is to utilize excess growth of pasture for better management and utilization and the fourth main role of silage is to store and enable extended use of potentially unstable material there are number of factors to take into account before considering a silage making program so I think uh, one should know the seasonal uh, feed availability and the requirement of feed supplements type of form system and uh, uh, what sort of crops those can be used the end uh, there are many others you know uh, which can be uh, kept in mind so this is all about silage which I oh, was uh, supposed to tell you about this uh, uh, the, the question uh, a student asked me in this morning so thank you very much Dr. Ashraf Sahib Zada says goodbye to everybody please take care of yourself and your